never ever settle for less otherwise your dopamine system will punish you and this is especially true if you have been born with uh, a kind of superiority complex like that's the way you were raised and this is why okay because dopamine is based on reward prediction error okay what that means is like whatever your expectancy is for a reward if you get less than that your dopamine will punish you and if you get more than that if you get more than what you expect your dopamine will reward you, right? Like you get that dopam dopaminergic spike, okay? Dop dopamine is about reward expectation error, the cases where you get your reward expectancy wrong, okay? So if you have been raised, um, let's say you've been raised to expect very high standards uh, for yourself, okay? Like go after very big things and you and nothing else will do, okay? If you've been raised in that way, which is off, which I think is, happens to be the case with the, uh, to children of immigrants uh, born here, uh, at least talking for myself, I've been raised like that where I had to go for very big things and anything less than that was failure, okay? What that does is it, I believe in set points, okay? For And research shows set points in a, in a variety of domains. For example, happiness, like you can be happy or sad. You have these vicissitudes, right? Throughout your life, uh, throughout your day, so on. But overall, you keep returning to a set point, generally speaking, okay? And I believe the same holds true probably for dopamine, okay? I think if your expectations are, are, are at a certain level, okay? Let's say you have that superiority complex, you were ra you're raised that way, okay? Then you have a reward expectancy there. That's your set point throughout life. And of course, it can change probably. But generally speaking, it's there. Now, when you settle in life, later on in life, you settle for less. You don't go after every bright dream or possibility in your, in your, in your dream landscape, in your horizon, so on. When you don't chase every bright star in your horizon, right? Then you're, you're kind of living under that set point. You're, you're going below it. So your dopamine will punish you, okay? This is what happens for smoking. It's like, it's, it's not that smoking itself is so rewarding. It's that by creating the habit of smoking, you are creating a, a, a an addiction. Like your 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 dopamine punishes you. Then when you don't have a cigarette, it's like it doesn't just go to zero. It goes like below zero. Your dopamine actually fires less than before because you've created that dependence in yourself for tobacco for smoking. Okay, and and I suspect the same is true. Like when you settle for less in life. If you've been raised that way to expect very high standards for yourself to chase after very big things, then your dopamine will punish you. It'll actually go below, below firing where it should. And then when that happens, you'll try to get that dopamine spike from elsewhere, from somewhere other than life's accomplishments. Okay, so then you'll you'll uh, you'll cave to addictions, you'll cave to criminality, to low lying fruit. And what is low lying fruit in today's society? Right, it's like. Porn, video games, movies, TV shows, that kind of shit, right? You'll just pass your whole life away. That was my biggest mistake because it's so, it seems so commonsensical. It seems so intuitive to think that um, if you're not attaining everything you should be attaining, if your motivational system isn't kicking in, it is not attaching to goals, then you should be settling for less. That's the intuition that we have, right? It's like, if I'm not hitting my goals, I should be uh, setting lower goals. Okay, I should be settling for less because then I'll have a greater possibility of hitting those goals. But that is so far from the truth, from my lived experience. Because what I found is that the only way to reattach my motivational circuitry uh, to the goals, the only way to re-tap into my natural motivation that's there, the motivation that was, that was uh, conditioned into me, right? That motivational circuitry, that motivational system, how to make use of that. I could only finally make use of that when I let myself go after every fucking big thing that I wanted in life, okay? Every big dream that I had because now, now what happens is that whatever that reward expectancy was, whatever that set point for dopamine was, now the reward prediction error is working in my favor because now I've let myself expect a greater reward than what I was expecting, okay? Or at least on par. I'm not going under, okay? So I'm letting my dop dopamine system dopamine system work for me rather than against me okay so counterintuitively uh if your motivational system is not working for you guys or, or girls women whatever the fuck and, and anybody any one of you if your motivational system is not working for you the problem is, I mean, it's not the answer is not to set lower goals it's to set higher goals okay um uh, 
And then when you unlock the, the real natural motivational circuitry within you, holy fuck, man, that's that's another level of life. Okay, that's and and so you shouldn't shy away from the, the grandest goals that you naturally feel inclined to like you'll feel it in your body like in, in your you, you'll you'll see yourself uh come alive okay that's how you know if your if your goals are big enough okay if you feel dead inside if you're if you're unable to make use of that natural motivational system inside you then that means your goals are too low okay uh your goals should excite you that's the that's the litmus test that's how you know that you're setting the right goals for yourself okay and uh, it goes beyond that too, because um, goal seeking, goal setting is kind of, I think, uh, actually a, a beginner's kind of paradigm. Okay, so I now I'm noticing that I can go beyond that because when I just know, when I know, when I have the knowledge that I will get things done, which is like my paradigm where I'm at right now, then then it's like I, I'm using my dopamine to my advantage in, in in a whole nother better way where it's not about doing things anymore it's about the knowledge that i've uh, that i've let myself uh that i don't know but that's like beyond that's for another video i have to explore that paradigm further but so there, there's a level even beyond what i'm describing here but this is like the starting point like guys do not uh, with uh, people people do not settle because if when you settle you are creating a reward prediction error that works against you. You're creating a lower reward for yourself than what your dopaminergic set point was expecting from childhood, the way you were conditioned. Um, so if you find yourself that you are conditioned to have a superiority complex, then man, you cannot afford to settle. And if you settle, your, your dopamine system will go below firing what the normal rate would be. It will punish you and you will start caving for addictions, low-lying fruit, uh, in society, all that shit, porn, video games, movies, so on.